guys! Today I'm going to be doing something that I've been wanting to do for a while now and that is the What's in My Purse video. I feel like these videos are iconic here on YouTube in the beauty community and I remember it being one of the very first videos that I watched so I'm just really excited to finally be doing one of my own. So here is my bag. This is from Aeropostale from Bethany Moda's collection and I just recently purchased this actually. The purse that I was previously using was this bright purplish one from Target and I got this last spring last year and I used it throughout the summertime and then I went on a trip to Vegas around the fall time and so when I went on that trip I didn't want to take a bigger bag like this even though this isn't really that big. I just wanted something very, very small. So I took this small black crossbody bag that I got from Costco. And then when I came back home, I just never switched back to the purple one. So when I got this new bag, I literally just jumped everything from those two bags into my new one. So just a little background info there. I know that there's kind of like two different what's in my purse videos. There's the ones that are kind of more about organization and then the other ones that are like totally unplanned. And just whatever is in that bag, no matter what it be, you're just you're sharing it so this one is definitely more unplanned even though this is a brand new bag that I just started using so I mean it should be organized because when I get a new bag I typically will organize it right when I get it and that's really the only time that it will ever be organized are you guys like that too where it's just like oh I got a new purse and then it's just so clean and neat and organized but just give it some time give it some time and disaster. So I don't know why I didn't organize it this time when I got this new bag. It just pure laziness maybe. But anyways, I'm like rambling. We need to get started and just jump into the bag. Well, not jump into the bag, but you know what I mean. So we should probably just get started because I have no clue how long this is going to take and with just all the randomness that's in my bag. So yeah, here we go. Okay. So the first thing that I see is my makeup pouch and inside I just have some makeup brushes. Most of these are from e.l.f. I just have a powder brush, a crease brush, a flat shader brush, and a blush brush. And I also have my Tarte foundation brush, a brow powder brush, an eyelash curler that is practically broken. And, ooh, another crease brush. This is from Bare Essentials. And then this palette that I've had for a really long time by do, 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 Lancome. Just looks like this. And I actually primarily use this right now for my eyebrows. I use this dark brown color right here to fill in my brows. Uh, I usually have a pair of tweezers in here, but I guess I took them out recently. But yeah, that's just what's in this little bag, just for any makeup touch-ups throughout the day. Next, I have my Yes to Cucumber... <laughs> yes to Cucumbers. I don't know why I said Cucumber. I, I, I Some people may say Cucumber, but I always say Cucumber, so I don't even know why... I said it like that. This is my Yes to Cucumbers Facial Towelettes or Makeup Remover Wipes. And this is just the travel size that has 10 wipes in it. And I like to keep this in my bag because you never know when you need to remove your makeup. Sometimes I will go over to a friend's house and then, you know, we just have so much fun or we just love hanging out together that we I end up spending the night. So I need to be able to remove my makeup so that's why these come in handy. Here I just have my wallet and I'm not going to go through all the contents inside because that would be just ridiculous but basically it's a disaster in here. I'm kind of embarrassed. Um, I just have like a lot of receipts in here because I'm just really bad about putting receipts in here and then they just basically live there for years. Yeah just like a bunch of receipts, some cards, like coins. There's really nothing significant in here because I switched from that crossbody bag and all my cards I put in the crossbody bag but then now they're probably just like randomly in here so yeah. I have 
some double mint gum actually no gum this is empty so i have some trash then i have just a bunch of cards so bear with me these are the cards that should be in my wallet so i have a starbucks gift card that i got for christmas I don't even know how much is on here, but I haven't used it yet. My Beauty Insider card for Sephora. A Yogurtland gift card that I also got from Christmas. A rewards card. A gift card to Cream. I don't know if this is like a national thing, but it's like an ice cream sandwich place and I have not tried it and I really wanted to try it. So I was really happy to get this gift card for that. Forever 21 store credit, Walgreens card, rewards card, another Forever 21 credit thing, and then I have my ID, and then three bank cards, so I am not going to show those, but these are them. A bunch of receipts, Sephora, um, another Sephora, a Chinese restaurant, uh, da -da -da -da, Walgreens, Walmart, some tissue, which is really toilet paper. These, this like pamphlet stuff from Kohl's when I got their rewards card. Sephora insider birthday thing card, more toilet paper. Just Forever 21 receipts, just all these receipts. I'm not going to go through them all. Oh, a Phil's barbecue hand wipe. Um... This is from when I went to San Diego, which by the way, if you are in the San Diego area, I definitely recommend going there. Cash, this is probably tip money from work. I need to put that into my savings. I save all of my tip money. Some wet ones wipes, which I'll be honest, I actually kind of took these. They, I just found them like lying somewhere. A, uh, what do you, toothpick comb? Is that what these are called? Toothpick combs? You know, pick comb? And I just use this mainly primarily like for the top part of my hair. Like to part it. A mini hairbrush. This is a little compact mirror and brush that I got from Target. And I don't really use this brush that much even though it has my hair in it. But primarily for the mirror. A bobby pins. These are like purple ombre colors. A Hello Kitty cards not a full deck just some random ones more cash from work i have some like coupons for some free drinks i'm a barista at a tea place boba tea if you guys know what that is if you don't you should try it it's really delicious oh a clock in thing from work just receipt thing and then i have a lot of markers because I don't know what was I doing oh I was coloring like my tip envelope I think that's why I have all these markers in here so yeah just an assortment of colors mm -hmm. oh <laughs> the silica gel thing from the purse should probably get rid of that some feminine products my house keys and mailbox key car keys which has a little Nemo on it that I've had for the longest time. Isn't he so cute? But he's quite dirty. He really needs a shower or a bath or something, which is ironic because, I mean, he lives in the ocean, right? An Ikea card and my car keys, which, if you were wondering, I drive a Toyota Avalon. We're almost done with the main compartment. So we have my NYX soft matte lip cream in Monte Carlo, China Glaze nail polish in Jitterbug, which I have used in many of my videos. Well, not many of my videos because I don't have many videos up, but multiple videos. Some loose change, a gum wrapper. Into the side pocket, I have some more money and receipts and a ticket and some string i think this is a piece of fringe that fell off my kimono more loose change just a bunch of change 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 a nyx 
butter lipstick and this is actually what I'm wearing today. This is Little Susie and a fortune that says focus in on the color yellow tomorrow for good luck. All right, so we're finally done with the main compartment. So now jumping into these pockets right here on the side. Do, do, do. I have my Visine for contacts drops. I do wear contacts. I'm wearing them now. A uh, dollar bill. I, I acted like I forgot what that was. I was like, I uh, dollar bill. Some uh, Sharpies, a pink one, and a skinny orange one. Did I just say Sharpies? I mean highlighters. They're Sharpie brand. Oh gosh. See, this is like the reason why I think actually me filming this video right now, it's making me organized because I just am throwing everything out of my purse onto the floor basically and I have to put it back in so might as well throw away all the trash and as well as reorganize everything. So this is actually really good. This is good. This is a purposeful video. And I'm primarily saying that because I'm seeing these lip colors, but I don't think I'm going to be reaching for these at all anytime soon because I'm more focused on a few other lip colors right now. And so I like to really rotate them and I don't think that I would reach for these. So yeah, I should probably take these out. Well, I am taking them out. So I mean, I should probably keep them out and Let's not put them back in the bag. So the first one I have here is from Smashbox. This is, what do they call these? Be Legendary Long Wear Lip Lacquer. Gosh, it's like so tiny. It's like size one font. And it's in the shade After Dark, which is probably the darkest lip color that I own. And then I have my CoverGirl Jumbo Gloss Balm in Plum Twist and a MAC lipstick in Syrup, which is one of my favorites, but really only wear that in the fall time. Okay, we are almost done. Moving on to the other side pocket. Oh, I think this is like a trash pocket. I have like, what is this? Well, this is not necessarily trash, but it's just like random stuff. I have like these twist ties that you get from like produce section at the grocery store. Some tiny um uh elastics just like the plastic hair ties and then a regular hair tie. This is where it's like kind of trash. So I have a bunch of q-tips that look quite gross but they're actually not used it's just that sometimes i will throw q-tips in here to like touch up any eye makeup sometimes but you have to use them right away because if you don't then the ends kind of puff up like this and they just look really gross and you don't want to use them anymore so that's kind of a waste oh there's another one and then i just have some gum wrappers Gum wrappers, gum wrappers. Oh, Ugh. I don't know if I should even eat this. Probably not. This is some gum that has been forgotten. Sorry, guys. Another hair tie. A receipt that you cannot even read because the ink has just completely rubbed off. And some change gum wrappers and change. Oh, actually, this is a fortune. Let's see, is this one any better than the other one? A financial investment will yield returns beyond your hopes. Hmm. Yes, although I don't think I really financially invested in anything, so... Hmm. And then the last thing I have here is a little shell that came off the beach in San Diego. All right, so that is everything that was in my purse. I'm sorry if it wasn't that interesting or if it was boring at parts. If I had planned this ahead of time, I would have put some interesting stuff in there, but no, what you saw is what you get. And does that even make sense? 
what you see is what you get. Does that apply here? Like, hmm. What I'm saying is, the stuff that you saw is 100% what was in my bag. I didn't change anything, and so it's just to see the real side of it all, and some of this stuff may have been carried around for two years now, especially the stuff in that wallet. It's ridiculous. But yeah, as you can see, just a lot of random stuff and probably a lot of stuff that should not be in my purse. But I am looking at this mess on the floor and seeing this as an opportunity to finally get my stuff together. Also, sorry if there's like points in the video where my voice was like cracking or kind of softer like at this point because... Um, there are other people that live here that just got home, and I'm not exactly comfortable filming when they're here, because, I don't know, it's just, I feel weird, because it's like I'm in my room, and it's like, they hear voice, but then it's like, nobody else is here, so it's like, is she talking to herself? Um, and, you know, they're not my relatives, and they're like, adults, and... English is not really their primary language, so yeah, I don't know, I just feel kind of awkward, and just kind of feeling like, okay, I want to get this done because I feel weird, like, filming when they're, like, right outside, right there, and I don't know, I just I hope they're not hearing me. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and please remember please remember to subscribe and I will see you guys soon. Bye. Is that awkward?